but that's how I am as a collector, especially when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. Sub Chunky say yo. What's up, Daniel? What are you giving away now? <laughs> Danny, no giveaways are needed, bro. bro, bro. <laughs> hey, it, I might hit a hundred. I might hit hundred subs. I, I said I would uh, do the giveaway at a hundred subs, so I'm down for it, man. Too. Josh I've has become the hype man. I've so. got. Yeah, I've become a man. No, I'm. I've just got a lot of good stuff, and I'd love to give back, man. A hundred subs in like three weeks. That, that's crazy. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Dan Swallows' job to just sell hot toy and take care of the neighbor kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. What's up, Ryan? Sorry if I missed your time, brother. Yes. So, yeah, we're 20, uh, we're 27 subs away. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't mind, I want to open this Planet Hulk. Do it. I will open it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I love the big flag. That is Fat Daddy. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually pretty excited. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me move the mic away from the back of the hand. Well, hopefully you guys haven't had the PC issues mine did, but... Uh-oh, what'd you uh, have? Uh, um, I had the same one, and I sold mine. Okay, what up you guys? Hey, we got a few people. We got Wiko, Life with Brock. Brock, how are you doing, dude? It's, uh, we got Steve Collects, Robert Ott. Welcome. Welcome. Hopefully the stream will work tonight. I didn't get a chance to be able to kind of set up my, my, uh, Wi-Fi to kind of give my, my phone priority. But I don't have anything else on the on the network right now, so um, we're gonna just see how this goes. Tonight is gonna be a pretty chill, relaxed night. Um, just gonna open a few figures. We're gonna play with uh, a few of them, maybe do a review of one or two of them, um, and then. I, but but I wanted to start off talking about um, SDCC. 2018 um, because we haven't heard a whole heck of a lot and if you I mean you guys have watched my channel for a little while now you guys know I like doing the um, the little updates the news updates so uh, it's a little weird not having like a whole list of figures that we should be able to expect so I don't know that that's just odd so um, are you guys able to hear me that's that's the one thing I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me because my computer was saying that the the feed wasn't going super great uh, in terms of whatever so all right Steve collects you said it's working good I'm gonna go with that hey we got narc not another retro channel what up okay so everybody can hear me that's great so um tonight uh, it's the day after my birthday Woo! <laughs> um, Maybe uh, maybe later I'll I'll share how old I am. It's old. Maybe not that old. Batmobile. Oh, the cat's out of the bag, Robert. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna open that sucker up. It is sitting right over there. Literally, I can almost touch it. I'm so excited. I have I opened it um, the other day and looked at it. That's all I did. All I did. I'm super excited to open that sucker. Midwest Outlaw! Thank you! Thank you. I got myself a new shirt. Um, it's a Marvel shirt for my birthday. Uh, I just bought this with my own money. <laughs> uh, I thought it was... Well, actually, it wasn't the shirt I really wanted. I just wanted to get a Batman shirt. But Walmart did not have... I wanted to just score one or two of those uh, $7.85 cent shirts, and they only had this one in my size that I wanted, so bummer. I'll have to actually get real, like, shirts that cost real money at some point, but whatever. Like I said, this is going to be a chill night. 
I don't know how long this is gonna go. Uh, I got a little. I, this is lame. I've got a little uh, cooler down here, so I don't have to leave. Um, I've been. I've already started drinking a little bit. Um, I've got a story or two to tell about my adventures. Uh, if you saw my last hunt, um, it's it's on the same realm of that which is kind of fun. I don't usually have this luck. Uh, if you didn't watch my hunt, I think most of you watched my hunt last time. Uh, there was a lady with her boob hanging out at Walmart. Of course, it's at Walmart. Um, one story similar to that, another story not quite similar to that yesterday. So I'll get into that. Um, but before we jump into stories and what have you, Pour yourself a drink. This, I actually, this is, I don't remember what, um, this is Buffalo something or other whiskey, and I just threw some Diet Coke in because I already realized I, um, was drinking a little more than I should have earlier, and, uh, I wanted to tone it down. I've got a glass of water as well. Uh, another thing, apparently, pulled a Jim Carrey on that boob. It wasn't that kind of boob, Robert, unfortunately. It was not, not that kind of boob. Um, I once said to my wife, I said, there are no unattractive boobs. And she shot back at me right away. Uh, no, there are. There are. And, and she's right. There are some unattractive boobs. And unfortunately, that was one. Now, I do want to say... Even if I had gotten it on film, I would never, even if like YouTube didn't, you know, strike you for that, would not have posted that. Not appropriate. I would have saved it, hung on to it, but I would not have shared that. So just, just know that because that's apparently important. So where was I going? Shoot. Forgot. Oh, right. So birthday yesterday, uh, today. No, birthday today. <laughs> I got milk. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, what up, Tony the Chang? Welcome. Welcome to the longest stream of Tech Chuckers history. Probably. I don't know. I I'm planning on going until I stop. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Um, no, freaking A. Now I forgot. Somebody remind me. What was I saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. So, all right, we'll just tell you. So, it's my birthday. I turned 38 yesterday on the 13th. So, everybody's like, oh, man, oh, the Friday the 13th is... I love Friday the 13th. It's actually my... When my birthday lands on the 13th on a Friday, absolutely favorite. I love it. Everything about that. My absolute favorite. So, Brock, are you calling me a lightweight? No, no. I don't, I started, uh, yeah, I'm a lightweight. I'm, I'm a dad of three, so I'm, I'm, I'm a lightweight. But it's cheaper. When you're a lightweight, so much cheaper. What up, Midwest Outlaw? I already said hi to you, but I'm saying hi again. Okay, so. I'm 38. When you're 38 and you're close to 40, apparently you have a midlife crisis and you do something. A lot of people will go buy a Corvette or something cliche. I decided I'm going to go ahead and smoke my very first cigar. Yeah. Like a, like a, like a, like a boss. That's what I decided I was going to do. So before this stream, I was sitting there smoking my very, very first cigar. Now, for the last two weeks, I did a little bit of research. I did a little research on uh, <laughs> 44. 44 is the new um, 20. Right, Robert? Uh, anyway, late 30s as well. Late 30s? I'm going to say 39 is late 30s. 38 is still mid 30s. Anyway, so I did a bunch of research on the whole cigar business, trying to figure out, okay, 
I, I've never smoked cigarettes because it's like, well, that, that'll, that'll kill you, right? So I decided, all right, I'm going to research this, talk to my father-in-law. He do, he smokes a little bit of cigars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I found a brand and a model. Model? I don't know if you call them a model. Uh, and it was an Arturo Fuente 858. That's what I went with. Now, I found in my research that and I'm sorry, this isn't this isn't action figure related discussion, but I figured I'd just I, we're gonna be here for like four hours, two hours, four hours. Um, I thought, okay, so the research says if you're really big on coffee and you're kind of a big on a big on uh, 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 strong coffee, you probably are fine with a medium to uh, heavy kind of strong cigar. And I thought, well. Let's go with a light one. So I looked up to see, okay, what can you do for a beginner cigar? And, and there was like five or six or ten different ones that they recommended. So I went to my smoke shop today, talked to a 15-year-old guy. Yeah, they, they say, go talk to the people at your smoke shop. They're going to know how to help you. No, I asked for a punch. And one, the guy was like, um, not... Um, let me, let me talk to this guy. And he brought a 16 year old over <laughs> and, and so they're like, well, we got these really, really cheap ones if you want. And I said, um, where are your regular ones? Like not the super cheap ones. And they brought me over and they're like, uh, I don't know this. He pulled out some, uh, I don't even know what the heck it was. All right. I said, nah, no, no, no. So, so I looked online, figured out, okay, how can you, punch a cigar without, without a punch. And here's what I figured out. You can pull the eraser out of a pencil and it does basically the exact same thing. Bam. Anyway, I digress. So, smoke my first cigar. My father-in-law was a little worried. He's like, you know, just don't be surprised if, you know, you don't really like it all that much. Andy reminded me, don't inhale it, which I knew, I knew. Okay. I loved it. I loved it. But it was too weak. Way too weak. It just it just didn't have the, the body, the strength that I wanted. So that apparently is a new thing that I'm going to do. Probably my wife is going to hate that. Anyway, it is what it is. So, um, we've talked far too much about cigars. We, as if you guys have had much choice. Okay, so let me let me check the uh, comments here because I've not been paying attention to that. So, Robert Ott, watch it, Bub. I'm 44, which is still a young pup. That's still a spring chicken, there, buddy. Uh, one of my, uh, I already saw that one. Three midlife crises. I'm planning on having at least 12. 12 midlife crises is kind of that's where I'm at. So. I probably had two because I decided to start going back to school. That, that, that's that got to be one, right? And then now the cigar thing. So we'll see where we go from that. All right. What do we got? Robert, he's a youngin, almost a millennial. Oh, Brock. No, you can't call me a millennial. Josh Pence is in the house. What? Um, so, okay. I'm all over the place. It's not because, no, it is. Josh, I, so I, I sent him a private message on Facebook and I told him I'll probably get myself kicked off of his, uh, his live stream. I didn't get kicked off, but YouTube, the chat did tell me I sent too many chats in too short a time and it stopped me from posting and said, why don't you take a break? So, I kind of, you know, fulfilled my promise. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the comments. Oh, and you're welcome. And Josh, thank you for the streams. I, 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 love, I, wa I love watching Josh Pence's streams. He, I, I don't know what it is, but he's just, it, he's an interesting guy. I love watching his, his channel, and he's just fun. So check out his channel. Obviously, all of you are already watching it. Um, Josh, I think you actually are streaming right now. So 
sweet thanks for stopping by um and listening to you in my group at the same time josh that that is really cool thank you but you should probably focus more on your stream anyway ah, <laughs> narc has both of us on awesome all right take another drink the pressure is on okay so what else do we got um i think i hit most of the comments perfect okay let's move into it's been six holy crap 15 minutes okay <laughs> thank you josh enjoy your stream drop back when i'm done because obviously i'm gonna go longer than you it's because it's the age and the experience that's a perverted joke and it's not a good joke anyway so i wanted to start this off i really <laughs> I really wanted to talk about SDCC because last year was crazy. We had months before SDCC started, we had spreadsheet lists of all the different Marvel Legend waves that were coming out. This year, nothing. I shouldn't say nothing, but none of that kind of leak. We, we know that uh, according to Rectangular, he has shared that there's going to be a second Black Panther wave, and there's going to be another Vintage wave. Aside from that, there hasn't really been a whole heck of a lot of official uh, leakage, if you will, for San Diego Comic-Con. So I, I kind of want to just, since we've got like 11, 12 people on the stream right now, I wanted to know, what are you guys thinking is going to be released or revealed from uh, Hasbro or any other vendor, really? And what are you hoping for? I'll go through mine. I'll start because that way then it's not just sitting here waiting, boring for you guys to um, post. Brock, I was going to go first and, and you just threw out Doom. Dr. Doom. Wait your turn, bro. Anyway. Dr. Doom is definitely something that we absolutely need. I could totally see Hasbro doing a Walgreens exclusive uh, Dr. Doom because they've been doing all the Fantastic Four. That would be <laughs> that that would be awesome, except I hate the exclusives because they don't have the, the Build-A-Figure. Except the nice thing is, is when they, they have an exclusive without a Build-A-Figure, um, and I don't like the exclusive, I can just pass on it and not worry about it. But if I want to... Whoa! Jetta Patrol is here! I'm like a squirrel. Just... Not a squirrel. I'm like a dog seeing a squirrel. Whoever I see that jumps in, I'm just... Anyway. I, I could see them doing the Doctor Doom as a Walgreens exclusive. And I, I would probably be okay with that. Because I totally want to get the thing. I didn't get any of the other. I didn't get the uh, Sue Storm. I didn't get uh, Johnny, Johnny Storm or... Uh, stretch, mind fart, mind brain, whatever that is. Anyway, Doom would be awesome. What I would love, and I know here's, here's, people are going to, people are going to be like, eh, that's lame. I really want an MCU Deadpool 2 wave. I know we have way too many Deadpools as it is, but here's who I want in it. Domino. I thought she stole the show from Deadpool 2. I thought she was amazing. My wife loved Domino. She just thought it was so cool. Um, I, I'd be okay with them doing a Cable. I didn't really care for Cable. Um, in the sense that I... Let's back up. If you didn't see the movie... Spoiler alert, I guess... Maybe? I don't know. Um, I felt Deadpool 2 lacked a real villain. They just, did, they just didn't have a good villain. There was no real established villain. At first you thought Cable was kind of the villain. I didn't because I'm a smart, intelligent comic book person. But my wife, I'm sure my wife thought that um, Cable was the actual villain. And then the kid, I forget what his name is. Um, we'll call him Fatty McGee. I can say that because I'm overweight, so that, that's okay. Um, I forget what his name is. What is the kid's name? 
from that movie. And now I feel bad for calling him that. Um, but then you think that he's the villain. And, he, and he's really not a real villain. And then the, the douchebag that uh, was like in charge of that, that organization or whatever, he was kind of a villain, but not really. So Deadpool knew, too needed a real villain. Anyway, let's back up. So Domino would be an awesome figure, an MCU version. I wouldn't mind an MCU version of Deadpool. I know everybody's like, we have way too many Deadpools. You're right, we do. But I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I wouldn't mind a MCU Deadpool 2 Colossus. That would be kind of cool. Here's what I really want. I want a blind owl. I want a blind owl. That's just what I want. I don't even care what the rest of the wave is. That's, that's who I want. I want a blind owl. Uh, I would also like, um, crap, what's his name? Uh, let's look it up. I've got a computer right here. IMDB, what's the name? Uh, his, Deadpool's friend. Somebody, somebody let me know in the comments <laughs> Deadpool's friend's name. Uh, why can't I think of it? Uh, Deadpool 2, Blind Al. would be awesome. I know it would be, Steve. It would totally be awesome because who wouldn't want that? Oh, Deadpool 2. Nobody is helping me in the comments with who his friend is. The, uh... God, what the hell's his name? Well, Dopinder would be cool, too. Weasel, yeah. No, is it really Weasel? I thought... No. That's not his name. No, it is. Freaking A. Apparently, okay, I retract my saying that I'm, I'm, uh, intelligent when it comes to comics. <laughs> Weasel, yes. Weasel would be cool. I know it would be, like, just a boring, because he doesn't wear a costume or anything, but that's what I want. The other thing that I wouldn't mind is uh, I want a Foggy from the Netflix wave. I, I want Foggy. But I don't want them in, in some stupid exclusive. I'm sick of these dumb exclusives that Hasbro keeps giving us. Put them in a wave and and just, just call it good. You know, or... I, yeah, Foggy for sure. There you go, Steve. Okay, so what else What else do we need from Hasbro to finally start completing some of our, uh, our uh, collections? Because, you know, last year they posted a whole butt ton of stuff. Some of the stuff I'm not super excited about that, they, that we already know or we're getting from like the Doc Ock wave. Gotta get Doc Ock. Um... And they always seem to throw in at least three or four that we don't really need. Negasonic Teenage Warhead would be awesome, Steve. I, I agree. That would be a cool... But they really... They, they need to do a little bit more with her. She did almost nothing. Almost nothing in that movie. Marvel Legends uh, Peter, I assume. Kent, you mean uh, Peter Parker? I, I assume. Um, We've... I would love a Peter Parker in plain clothes. That would be cool. Obviously, pretty big bummer that we aren't getting the um, the Stan Lee bath anymore. Hopefully, they're going to announce that he will be maybe a single-carded figure, even if that was like a Walmart exclusive. I'm going to predict a Walmart exclusive. Actually, no, I bet you... I bet you Nah, Peter from Dead. Oh, Robert! Uh, yes, Peter that from Deadpool Two. Yes, that would be awesome. I, I know exactly who you're talking about. That would be so cool. Um, who else would we need? So we could do a Fire Fist. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of that, but you know what would be cool? Dopinder with a taxi cab. If we could get Dopinder with a taxi cab. Sell it at 50 bucks. They'd probably do 60 to 70 because that's a full car. But how sweet would that be? Um, if they gave us a full car with an action figure. And you know, they've been doing the motorcycle uh, packs at 40 bucks each, which haven't been selling very well. 
Um, I'm wondering, I'm really curious to see if that Wolverine bike pack is actually going to sell. Uh, considering I thought Ghost Rider was going to sell big, like big, big, bigly, big time, big time. And it hasn't. It's been warming the pegs. Um, I've got it here. I opened it and put them back in and never did anything with them. I, I have it here just in case I run out of things to do. Because <laughs> um, I was going to try putting it up on the shelf or something. But that would be cool. If they did a car, A another thing that would be cool is if they did, and I, I get this is just like pipe dreams that'll never happen. If they did a Punisher with like a, a, a battle wagon, not a battle wagon, but just like a van, that would be super cool. Black Tom. Black Tom. Who the hell is that? Oh, okay. He was in Deadpool 2. Jack? What character was that? Okay. Um, I need more information. Um, was it Kent? Who said that? Kent. Tell me. Tell the group. I forget. Black Tom. Who is he? Ah, uh, shoot. I'm gonna watch the movie again. And it's probably not in the, out in, on, uh, I gotta wait for it to come out on DVD and watch it again. Oh, Vanessa. Okay, what do we got? Vanessa. Oh, well, yeah, Vanessa. That would be cool. But, I, you know, Vanessa would be kind of cool, but not really all that interesting to me. And what do we got? Banshee Brother... From the prison it'd be kind of cool to get the uh, the juggernaut version that they did in the mcu but i really love the the juggernaut bath that they did so i'm pretty pleased with that um okay we're gonna take a little side uh an aside on the live stream so i see i've got three likes and i've got 12 viewers do you think you guys can hit like i'll just wait i'll wait Ooh, I got another one. Don't you just hate it when you get when 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 people do that? They're like, "Oh, we gotta have more likes." Well, I'm doing it. That's that's what I do. I don't know. It's not what I do. I don't like doing these live streams. <laughs> but I am having a blast right now. Boom! Like in your face. So, some of you might be thinking. Ah, tech, he's got to have some drinks before he can really kind of like unleash and, and relax. Normally, normally, that would be untrue. Just ask my wife. I have no problem talking to people. But when I am talking just in my house um, with, with people on the internet, it feels a little weird. It's weird. This is weird. It's weird. Very weird. Smash the like button. I've never said that, but uh, if you guys watch uh, the likes of Peter McKinnon and um, who's the other guy? Oh, gosh. Uh, really big YouTuber. How the heck am I missing his name? Uh, Casey Neistat. All those guys are like, smash the like button. So I'm doing that. I actually like to watch a lot of their videos to learn how to try and make my videos a little more interesting. Perhaps you guys have seen the different B-roll uh, stuff that I throw in my hunts. Um, just trying to, you know, spice things up because sometimes it's a little bit boring just throwing hunt video. Here's what's on this shelf. Here's what's on this shelf. So I try to add a little style. So hopefully you guys like that. Anyway, squirrel, we're back. SDCC. What else do we think? We're, let's talk Mezco because I, I love Mezco figures. I have two. Uh, I've got one back. Where is he? Uh, Deadpool. He's hovering above the uh, the turtles. You probably can't really see it back there unless you're on a TV. Okay, so Mezco. I've got three Mezcos on pre-order, which for most normal collectors, that's like, oh yeah, well, that's nothing. For me, that's pretty big. I've got the Gladiator Hulk. He was originally slated to come out the end of this month. He was supposed to come in July. They changed it to um, September to November. 
So, yeah. Then they've got a Netflix Punisher, you know, Bernthal. So I've got him on pre-order, and then I've got Popeye. I love Popeye. Let me know in the comments or the, the chat if you guys, uh, anybody else is getting Popeye. I love Popeye. Uh, if you watch the Robin Williams version of Popeye, I would love a Robin Williams Popeye. That would be super cool. Guaranteed that'll never happen. Just never. So Steve collects no Mezcos for you. I understand. Um, I, I pick and choose what Mezcos I am planning on getting because 80 bucks for a six inch figure is really tough. I'm hoping to get my first hot toy, but at 250 bucks and up, that's a really, I mean, it's, it's hard, it's hard to rationalize 80 bucks. But uh, 250 and up, that's almost impossible to rationalize. But I'm hoping to rationalize it at some point by simply having money. Anyway, what else would I love? I'd love to get some some actual villains, some Marvel villains that I would... I'd actually love to see a Doc Ock Mezco. That would be cool. A Superior Spider-Man... Um, I know uh, not as many people really like Superior Spider-Man, but I love that story arc. I would highly, I would really consider a, a Superior Spider-Man uh, Mezco. Uh, Marvel, Marvel or Hasbro, Hasbro did a a Superior Spider-Man. Um, I want to say in the uh, Ultimate Green Goblin wave. I love that figure. It's such a cool figure. Correct me if I'm wrong on the wave, but that's a really cool figure. And then, um, what else would I love? I would love a Nef Netflix Daredevil to go with the Netflix Punisher. I don't think they've done one of him. Uh, yeah, hot hot toys are easy. Three Mezcos, exactly, Jetta. Um, but I'd have to cancel my current pre-orders to get my hot toy, and I'm really considering. I'm really considering getting that. Uh, Deadpool that they just announced a few like a month ago or two and I'll guarantee you the instant I'm ready to decide that I'm gonna get it <laughs> it'll be sold out and that'll be a great decision for me that'll just mean well don't get it um that's sometimes I do do you guys ever do that do you ever wait on something for a pre-order and and kind of hope that they just sell out and that'll make the decision for you. That's kind of that's kind of what I do with Mezcos. Um, so what else do I want from Mezco? I would love to see a Robin. Robin from obviously Batman DC World. They have not, as far as I know, they haven't done a Robin. Uh, they done Wonder Woman. Uh, it's MCU. Uh, I would like to see a comic version of Robin. Uh, I, they've done comic versions of Batman. Uh, they should probably do a comic Wonder Woman. I passed on the Mezco Wonder Woman. She just didn't look as, I figured, oh, I could get the Mezco or the SH figure arts. The difficulty that I have in spending 80 bucks on a Mezco that isn't completely covered in, uh, fabric is just the fact that it's basically... Without the fabric, it's basically just a figure arts or uh, Mayfax. What do you guys think? I am I am I like completely off base with that, or I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm looking for. You guys are awfully quiet in the chat, so clearly I'm answering everything everybody's questions. I, I'm just super engaging and everybody loves what I'm saying. And you guys, everything that I've said that I want, you guys are like, that. that's awesome. That's all I want. <laughs> You're going for Dark Seed. So, okay, Brock, I was super excited when I heard they were going to do a Dark, dark Seed, Dark Side. People are going to give me a hard time for how I've pronounced it. Dark Seed. Anyway, I don't like the version that they did. The DC Icons uh, design that they did 
uh, a couple of years ago when she and she came and he came with uh oh what's her name uh da, 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 da. I'm looking on Amazon right now because I can't remember her name. Dark side. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 Grail. Um, that's the one that I like. I wish that that Mezco did that design, and I would have highly considered getting that one. Um, I didn't. I didn't need Grail, but. For the hundred and what is that, 180 bucks, and it, he's only around eight inches, I think. Um, I don't know if I. It, well, I know I'm not. I'm not spending the money on that. But, but if they did it in that design, I would totally. Have, I totally would have gotten him. Um, I don't know why. I, I just. I'm not a huge fan of that look. But. I would never disparage anybody for getting it because it is really cool. It's just not it's just not the look that I like. Hey Black Knight 710, thank you for the happy birthday. I will accept that and I will put it onto my happy birthday shelf right over here. You can't see it. It's beyond the camera. Thank you. I have been drinking. So, um let's check the comments here. What do we got? Seriously thinking of getting into Transformers. Steve collects. Don't do it. Or do. Uh, I have two. Two Transformers. And I love both of them. My son loves one of them. And he is not allowed to touch the other one. Uh, so I've got two Optimus Primes. I am not a... I'm not a I, I, don't, I used to watch Transformers a little bit growing up. Uh... But my memory is extraordinarily terrible. Uh, I can remember like PowerShell scripting language, but I can't remember like the movie I just watched the other day. And so anyway, but I like I liked Op Optimus Prime. I got the MPM4 or whatever the heck it is for a really good deal at Toys R Us. Um, bless their soul, or God rest in peace, TRU. Um, I got it for like 60 bucks. It was really cool. That's the one my son's not allowed to touch. The I got the uh, uh, the Hasbro one. It's the bigger one. I let my son play with that one. I got it for like 30 bucks, and there's no, it was retail like 50 or something like that. But that's a black hole, right? Uh, all of these things are black holes. Anyway, get into it. If you if you like Transformers, get into it. I say, if you like anything, get into it. I love Muppets. Not a lot of people really like the Muppets. I love the Muppets. Uh, I only have a few. I want more. And uh, that's just how it is. Um, let me see. What else do we got in the comments? I don't want to be the only one yammering on. Uh, oh, jeez, I missed a few. I, I missed a few. Road trip to Canada for Toys R Us. I can't talk. To Toys R Us. At Midwest Outlaw. So... You're what, um, you're up a little bit north of me in, in Minnesota, right? Um, Canada, yeah. We can, meh. Okay, reality is, is the way that with school, I'd love to go to Canada. Actually, I, let's back up. I hate going to Canada. I don't like going there because the nearest place in, to Minnesota and Canada is freaking uh, Thunder Bay. And that place is basically like Superior Wisconsin uh, uh, downgraded unless they've changed it yeah you're an hour north of Minneapolis I didn't I didn't want to say exactly where you were cuz not doxing you bro um, but anyway I, I it'd be kind of cool to go up to Canada to TRU in like a year or two after the you know the initial TRU thing has all kind of passed and now you're beyond just the nostalgia you're just like really wishing you had tru back that'd be kind of cool to go up there and be able to be like, wow they still have them here okay I i'm gonna check the comments again because i've been i've been neglecting you guys and we've been going for almost 40 minutes i'm really proud of myself because i i i, I usually don't i don't like going this long on 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 uh on these things. Anyway, what do we got? 
So, Juarez Arturo, you were asking for a shout out. Okay, so Juarez, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I, I don't know how you're going to correct me, but just say whether or not I'm saying it wrong. Okay, Arturo per. <laughs> Juarez Arturo is asking for a shout out. I'm assuming maybe you have a channel. If you do not have a channel, I am shouting you out. If you are no longer here, I am sorry I missed the shout out opportunity, but it is happening. Bam. Okay, what else do we got? We got private, private, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Kent has said, a Marvel Legends Squirrel Girl, yes or no? The answer, coming soon. No, the answer is yes. That would be cool. Um, I read a couple of comics with Squirrel Girl in it. Um, it it's not an amazing character by any means, but uh, yeah, that would be an awesome figure to have. Uh, I liken that to the uh, Gwenpool. I, I don't really care that much about the character herself, but to have that as a and as, as an action figure would be freaking amazing. I yes, Kent, if you're still on, I will take a Squirrel Girl. This could go the wrong way, but I would take her and put her up on my shelf. There you go. Um, what else do we got here? So, Brock said, I sold my custom dark side for about 170 and Mezco looks way better. 170 is pretty darn good to sell for a, a, a um, custom. And I saw your custom and I thought it looked pretty darn good. So, uh, I have tried sort of my hand at custom action figures. I've done okay. Yes, Kent, do it, Hasbro. So, Hasbro is obviously watching right now. And if all of you guys say, give us a squirrel girl, guaranteed, if they were watching, they'll give us a squirrel girl. <laughs> we got IE I. Hunter in the house, dude. Okay. We're going to stop. We're, we're going to stop the live stream for just a second. And we're going to talk about IE Hunter. Only because I am extraordinarily jealous of the fact that you guys over there on the West Coast are constantly finding everything, like, early, 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 compared to everybody else. Here in Minnesota, um, we barely see anything. I mean, we just... We're just finding out about the Industrial Revolution. Boom! Has history joke right there. But seriously, I'm 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 very jealous of all you guys on the west west on the east. Ah, freaking a! On the west coast, I'm so jealous of you guys. You guys get all the stuff early, and it's super cool that you do. And jealous. Anyway. Hmm. Kent is coming in with a lot of really good ideas. Howard the Duck. Okay, so Howard the Duck would be awesome. But, yeah, Canada has been hitting it pretty good. So has the UK. The UK, the Philippines, they're, they're, all of those guys seem to get that crap really early. But here's the good thing. The good thing is, is Canada has to pay a lot of money for that stuff. I think they're paying a lot more than we do, typically. Anyway. Howard the Duck. We totally need a Howard the Duck. But if Hasbro screws it up the way that they screwed up Spider-Ham, where he's like, I can't move it all. Don't, don't even bother. I, I get that it, it could be really good sculpt, really good paint. But if they don't give us good, like really, really good articulation, what's the point? So I, I say that and I'll probably get Spider-Ham anyway. But it's, it's really disappointing to see, like, no knee articulation. Uh, I don't even remember what kind of hip, uh, hip articulation uh, Spider-Ham had, if he had any. I don't even remember if he did. Let me know in the comments. I haven't seen him in person, so I cry every night because of that. 
So private, private is what is he saying? Wait, let's 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 catch it back up with the comments. Um. Okay, so private, private is saying I'm in the West and I haven't found sheet. S H E E T sheet. I like that. Uh how, oh, Kent was asking how Howard the Duck, yes or no? That's a yes, totally. Um, have dude, Miss Midwest, you haven't seen Infinity War wave yet? Okay, so where you're at, the nearest Walmart is like, I don't know, half an hour away. I would think they've had that. That's a bummer though, dude. IE is jealous of Canada. They still got TRU. We talked about that. Hey, Denelson Fries won one of my giveaways, which is a great segue. It's a great segue. Denelson, welcome. Um, stay tuned on the channel. I've got a big announcement coming up on the channel. How many times can I say channel? I'm going to do a giveaway. Likely, I'm ho I'm hoping for Monday. I recorded it today, Re but I gotta I gotta edit it because I like to do a lot of editing. It takes a long time, and I've got school. But my goal is to have that video up Monday, Tuesday at the very latest. It is very. Let me whisper. Let me whisper. It's very special. Silence uncomfortable, not for me. So be prepared. I'm super excited for this giveaway. I'm actually kind of nervous because it's a little bit different than I typically do for my giveaways. So hopefully all of you guys will like it. Um, we're gonna bounce over to a little bit of a discussion about what the hope for the giveaway is. So the giveaway there's two intentions for the giveaway. This isn't the way that, maybe this isn't what everybody's purpose for a giveaway is, but my purpose for giveaways is twofold. Maybe three or four, but I, I'm only thinking of two right now. Number one is to say thank you to all of the folks that have been watching and supporting me. All of you guys, I mean, the 13 of you that are on right now, that's amazing. I, I love the fact that you guys are watching right now it's just one dude sitting in his living room i moved this couch to the other side because i thought it'd be cooler if i had this displayed um so that's super hot whoa i jumped to 15 welcome whoever just dropped in um so it's a thank you the other side of it is is because in order to be able to continue doing the giveaways um you want to be able to have more people watching uh, and more subscribers, more watch time, all of that sort of stuff. And so you want the channel to grow, right? I want the channel to grow. I don't have to have the channel to grow, but you know, the ego side of you, you're like, I want to see like more than 1400 subscribers. And I want to see 15 every time. It's, it's almost like a video game. I'm not a video gamer. But this to me is almost like a video game. Like as soon as I hit 1400, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get 1500. Now I gotta get 1600, 1700. It's like, it's like if I did drugs, I feel like that's what it feels like. You gotta just get to the next high. Ugh. So, but the idea really is to say thank you because I want to be able to just give something to you guys. And so that's what I'm hoping to do open on Monday. So you guys basically just clear your calendar and, and just sit there and wait, watch to see what's happening. It's going to be good or it's going to suck. One of those things will happen. You decide. All right. I don't know. Robert Ott, you're right. I am fun when I drink. I'm fun when I'm at work too. You guys can't see that. I say a lot of interesting things. Oh, dude, freaking A, I forgot, forgot. I forgot at the beginning of this live stream, I am so all over the place. Normally, like when I'm recording my videos and I'm gonna just like, 
I have like an agenda of like, uh, like I have a script, maybe not a script. I have like an outline of crap that I want to talk to. Denelson, have a drink. It's on me. Um, pa pass it through there. Have that. It, I can't. I can't actually give you a drink. Um, shoot. Where was I going with this? Stories. Stories. <laughs> um. Okay, so I told at the beginning of this live stream, sip, 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 it's good. It is good. So this is Buffalo something or other whiskey with a little bit of Diet Coke to keep me from being too far gone. Quit drinking three years ago because I was too fun when I drank. Yeah, I hear you, you Robert. So, okay, I'm going, we're squirreling here. So I've been married 10 years. No. Oh, crap. Okay, so I got married in 2016, October of 2016. So that means I've been married more than 10 years. That means in 2018, this year, we will be married 12 years. Um, yeah, yeah, I hear you, dude. Um, so... I used to work, I used to be the IT director at a, at a school district nearby here. And it got to the point where on a weekly basis, I was putting in 60, maybe 80 hours a week. When I was done with work, I would go to the bar with my friends, excuse me, or I would go not with friends. I would just go. And... My wife, who is the most amazing person in the world, at one point she just said, I'm not putting up with that. And, you know, there was other stuff said. But she, she kind of got me to realize, you know, you got you to gotta put your family first, you got to put your wife first, your relationship first, etc., etc. Same thing with, with uh, collecting. Collecting can't come before your family and your responsibilities. Anyway, moving on. So, stories. I, I promised at the beginning of this live stream we were going to talk about some stories. So, if you, for those of you who are new, 17 viewers consecutive. This is amazing. Welcome. At the beginning of this, I promised that I was going to talk a couple of stories that are weird. So, you know, if you last saw my last, uh, my last hunt video, I saw some lady with her boob just hanging out, and I'm probably going to get hit from YouTube for saying boob, um, but I saw this lady just had it out. Okay, story one. Story number two. I am at work. Work. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. I'm at work. So just to give you a little bit of grasp of where I work. So where I work is that the uh, the dress code is business formal, which means for me, I have to wear a suit and tie every day. Yeah, motorboat. No, that, that's probably not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. D-Bag Robot Gang is in the house. I'm I'm squirrel. Okay, D-Bag, this story, I don't know why. You just jumped in at this time. Here's the story. So, business formal at my uh, work. So that means suit and tie, like everybody. There are doctors and uh, all that sort of stuff walking around. I mean, this place is amazing. So, okay. If you're not familiar, I work at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Mayo Clinic, world renowned. Like, it's pretty cool. I am not world renowned, but it's a cool place. Like, everything's made out of marble. Like, it, it, it's crazy. A hallway is worth more than 13 of my houses. It's ridiculous, this place. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm walking down the hall back to my to my office area. So picture this. See if you can see this. I'm walking this way. 
there's a lady walking this way, you know, coming, we're, we're meeting. And she's, I would say, 10 years older than me, a little bigger, a little bigger, but that's, I don't know why that's pertinent to the story, but I'm telling it. She gets to a doorway that turns at a 90 degree, and she comes to a lady that apparently she knows. They meet, and she says, oh, hi, I'm going to stand up for this part. And this isn't working. But as they meet, they're like, she says, oh, hi. And the other one goes, have you heard? And she just rips one. What? What? I, I, my mind was just blown. I told my wife about this. And she literally thought for the last two days, she's like, that's made up. That doesn't happen. Middle-aged women do not just like in public at work without checking first to see who's around just rip one So story one Lady in public with her boob out on a hunt story two Middle-aged lady wearing relatively nice clothes ripping ass just like Story three, because all good things happen in threes, right? Let's have some coffee. That is right. I have three, count them, three drinks here. Water, whiskey and Coke, coffee from this morning. Story three, you guys are in for a treat. Okay, I'm just excited. This is awesome. So, yesterday evening was my birthday. My birthday. You guys all know it's my birthday. That's what the title of this video says. I haven't even cracked into the the uh, the beers that are sitting in the cooler over here. I have been sipping very slowly, and I'm 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 building momentum, and and whatnot for this story. I haven't even opened one of the action figures that I was hoping to open. Jump into it. Okay, so story number three. My wife takes me to dinner. We were going to go to dinner and then a comedy show. We're at this restaurant. The name of the restaurant is not important. It's Five West. And we're sitting there. It had just rained. Like, uh, we'll say 30 minutes ago because that's not important to the story. We're sitting there. It's it, it's one of those restaurants where you can sit inside or outside. They have an outside deck, but one wall, the wall between the deck and the uh, the uh, interior section is basically like glass garage doors that, that go up. So they, they can open it up during the summer. They had them closed, and they had all these tables on the outside. Clocking in for Graveyard. Have a blast, fam. D-Bag... Thank you for dropping it by. I appreciate it. You're missing out on this story, but uh, it's not as good as the last one that you just heard, so you're good. Stay safe. Work good. You're good. Okay, so they're basically drying off all of the tables. So if you know how most restaurants are, the, uh, the uh, what do they call it? The ladies that uh, check you in when you first check in, um, it's not a maitre d', it's a, a hostess. So this lady is, I'll, I'll call her 21 years old. Pretty attractive lady. By attractive, I say she's not fat and ugly like what we've got going here. She's got like one of those, it's like a, not a sundress, but it's a really short dress. She is drying all of the tables and chairs. She's sitting there, not sitting there, standing there, bending over. And if you know how those dresses work that are basically, you got the, let's just say, knee is here, thigh is here, butt's here, and skirt dress thing is here when she bends over. Basically, she's flashing us her butt the whole freaking time that we're eating. Happy birthday to me! <laughs> um, I even, <laughs> at one point I started laughing. My wife looks at me, she's like, 
what is so funny? And I just said, look over there. <sighs> you know what she said? You know what my wife said? This is how cool my wife is. She's like, good for her. <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, she's really rocking that dress. Good for her. I mean, you got it now? Flaunt it now. I'm like, I don't think she's flaunting it. She's not trying to do that. She's trying to get her work done. She's like, I know, but I'm like, I can't look. It's too awkward. She's like, I'll look. What? I don't know. I just thought that was too fun. Too funny. Good things happen in threes. Bad things happen in threes. I got the good thing. Good things this time. Whatever. It is what it is. You guys are quiet. What's on your mind? It is. It has been an hour and one minutes. I don't think I've ever done a uh, live stream this long. There is no end in sight. I haven't hit the uh, the Batmobile that I'm hoping to open. Let's um, I've been yammering on. While you guys come up with things, kind of happened to me. Okay, I'm jumping into the comments now. So private private said that kind of happened to me at work. The receptionist was bending over and flashed me. She must have realized because she pulled her skirt down and smiled at me. At least she smiled. Just don't be a creeper. That's all I have to say. Don't be a creeper. Uh, don't cro <laughs> don't don't think the crop dusting is a good thing. Okay, so Robert, here's the deal. I couldn't smell it, but it's a great story. I'm I'm really big on enjoying good stories. I love good stories. So if I can have a good story to tell, and I mean I get. This is, you know, it's debatable whether or not this is a good story. In my book, this is a good story to tell. It's, eh, it's something. Something not everybody can say they've experienced. I like to be able to have stories that I can tell like that. So, maybe it's not like, it's not like, oh, some really, like, a 10 had her, oh, oh, I have another story. This one's, this one's, not as amazing because I forgot about it and it's been a you know two weeks since it happened. Another story. We're sitting at a restaurant. Basically the same scenario that of the last one where you're sitting inside and then there's a little like deck type of thing on the outside with the windows, etc. I have it's with our entire family. So I actually it, there was a buffet for breakfast. Get up, walk around to get my son some uh food at the the buffet the buffet is right at the window area walk around and there is these people uh, on the outside in a chair or on, at a table and basically they uh this one chick has like a shirt and it, it's one of those shirts that basically is right at the at the the shoulders and i look over and she basically just pulls the thing down because she's readjusting it and it's just like Okay, whatever. It's not as good of a story. She was attractive. I'm, I'm anyway. So we're just gonna jump into Tony. Got to go make dinner. Have a good night. Thank you for joining me during this whatever the heck this is. I'm gonna open this guy. I got this. You saw this on my last uh, my last hunt. Um, I've been yammering on, so we, we should probably. We should probably open something because it's been over an hour. All right. So I got this. I got this. Okay. Um, I got Crash Bandicoot. I've never played the game. Never played the game, but it is too cool. This would be, if they made a movie, a Crash Bandicoot movie, anybody think that'd be cool? I think it'd be cool. Um, I don't know. I think it would be cool. To have a Crash Bandicoot movie. They should probably make like a Legends of G Zelda movie as well. Maybe everybody who has actually played the game would be like, that's a stupid idea. I'm fine with that. Alright, so, um, T-Man 978 was, um, 
we'll just say critical in my understanding of this this figure because he apparently he he said excuse me I'm burping he indicated that in the uh, there there's a couple versions of this there's one that's basically a statue and this one this one comes with a cheesy little um, cardboard crate and I had to have the cardboard crate um, Black Knight 710 you are correct T-Man's review was amazing I'm not gonna check the instructions because I'm smart enough to figure this out myself right and a man real man real men don't need instructions until they do need them my wife would be like, why are you talking? Anyway, I don't know why I'm building it. This is dumb. I, I, I actually think this thing is kind of dumb. This is this is really dumb. They should have... What would have been better if they had just given us like a... Um, even just a plastic molded one and then charges us 25 bucks, even 30 bucks, or just not even given us the stupid box. I don't really care for cardboard boxes. It's just seems kind of dumb to me. But what do you guys? Anybody else have this? Have you played the new game? Because that just came out in June or July. Let's see if we can get this without breaking anything. I can't believe I still have 12 people watching me. Why? Why are you guys still here? Sound off in the chat. Why are you still here? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you all of a sudden just start dropping. Oh, good. You guys are listening. You're not actually doing that. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh. All right. Way you open that with a knife makes me nervous for you. Says, I don't know, I, I thought I was, I wanted to have a good joke, but I didn't have one. Um, why did it make you nervous? Did you think I was going to cut something? Like myself? All right. This has to be a record. Okay, I just lost some people. Crap. Crap! All right, everybody, go share this video. We gotta get back up to like double-digit numbers. Come on, can't believe it. But I, well, okay. So Black Knight, I know the box is iconic to the game. I know that much. But cardboard is—I mean, it looks good. But how much better would it have been if it was like a solid plastic type of deal? Jumpman111, welcome to the big show. You brought us back into the double digits for viewers. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. If you're not aware, which you just jumped in, I've been drinking, which, by the way, it's a good segue into I need to open up a new one. Um, I am not... Uh, did jump man just drop drop? Bummer. <laughs> you were looking at the camera, not even at your box or the fingers. That's what's called experience. You don't have to look at everything when you're a YouTuber. You can just look at the camera. Um, actually, to be honest, I was watching the camera, and I could see what I was doing because the camera's right here. Ooh, Jumpman, you're still here. Welcome. The next 30 minutes will be a conversation with Jumpman111 and myself. How are you? I'm kidding. It, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's overly creepy. Anyway, so we're opening up. Yes, I have been drinking a lot. Okay, so we've got the NECA. Crash Bandicoot action figure. I have never played the game, which 
if T-Man were here, he would say, I'm sure, get the game. We have a Wii. My son and I played Mario Kart earlier today. Uh, and I just discovered that our Wii is dying. It is dying badly. Uh, which I am super bummed about. I would really like to get a new game console. I'm not entirely sure whether or not we should get a Xbox One or a PS4 or... What do you guys recommend? You like Mario Kart. Alright, jump man. Yeah, who doesn't like Mario Kart? Um, but basically what's happening with... Let me get this out while it's loud. The heck? They basically force you to have to cut the plastic. Or can you do it without? Yeah. Come on, NECA. You're killing me here. You're gonna make me scratch the paint? Stupid. Oh, a little plastic here. Xbox One, but it crapped out. PS4 all the way. So here's what I understand about gaming. PS4 is for like the really serious gamers, Xbox One for like not really serious gamers, but kind of like they want a game, but they want to have like a media system too. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, what I do know is I love, I love, love NECA. NECA does a great job with their sculpt, with their paint. Articulation can kind of be, eh, so-so. Uh, but this thing is really cool. All right, let's see. For the next 10 minutes, we'll probably just be like me observing this. Uh, PS4 is also like a 4K Blue K. Do you mean it also has a 4K Blue Blue uh, Blu-ray player? Um, that because I I thought that that the only way that I and. Uh, I thought the only way an Xbox One could do 4K is you have to get like some additional like adapter or upgrade or something and then you can do 4K with a uh, Xbox One. Your wife, okay Brock, your wife just passed by and asked if I was drunk. Here's the question, what did you say? I'll wait. The answer is technically sort of. I'm more buzzed, right? Ah, crap, I'm losing people. That's because it's getting late. That's what I'm going with. It's late. I'm going to go until there's zero people. Anyway, what do, you, do any of you guys have this figure? I got to say, the paint is amazing on this figure. She said he has the same face you have when you had to. <laughs> Too many Mai Tais? I don't think I've ever had a Mai Tai. Anyway, this thing is super cool. The eyebrows are articulated. They're on little, uh, I believe, double ball pegs. That is super cool. Um, you know what would be really cool is if they had the eyes articulated. That would have been amazing. Um, they are not, but... For 20 bucks, this thing is really, it's sculpted very nicely. Um, I really love shoes on figures. I'm, I'm not a big fan of like real life shoes, but on action figures, shoes that they paint really nicely are super cool. I love it. It is so cool when they, when they really like paint the, the laces and the eyelets and all that sort of stuff, that is just amazing to me. I love it. Now, I'm going to be careful with this because there's a couple of joints that are a little bit... Oh, I got it. I got it. I just don't want to... Because NECA can be a little brittle sometimes. I don't want to overdo it. Um, that should tell you, I'm not super overly drunk. Because if I was super drunk, I'd just be like, Oh, it's me to handle this thing. I'm being careful. Um... This thing is so cool. It has 
knee joints. They're just single joints, single, uh, single hinge. And they don't go super far, but that's okay. Uh, what do we got in the hips? Let's just kind of gently, gently be gentle with this and overly redundant. Uh, the hips are a little cruddy. Yeah, those hips don't go super far. I heard that they pop off. I, I, I think I heard that it was just a, a ball joint. If I remember T-Man's review, if I, if I say T-Man three times, then he'll appear in, in, the, in the comments is what I heard. I believe this is a double ball joint in the waist torso area. That's cool. I believe it's another double ball joint in the neck. That is cool. Let's see what the shoulders have. The shoulders are a little... Uh, let's see if you force it. I just don't want to scratch the paint. Ooh, it does go further. Uh, it gets a, about straight out. That's pretty darn good, right? There's no bicep swivel, but there is a swivel in the elbow. That's cool. Single joint in the elbow. That's good. Good, good, good. And then... A hinge in the wrist and a peg. That's good. I love it. Okay, so Steve Collect says, I don't really care for NECA stuff overall. You can leave right now. Get out. Kidding. Um, so, question for you, Steve, to put you on the spot. Is it the characters or the figures? Because I can see the characters, um, and if it's the it's, if it's the figures, is it just because the the brittle? It's the figures. So what do you mean by the figures? The the workmanship of of Neca. I'm calling you out, dude. I'm calling you out, bro. I'm not really. Um, no, I am, but I'm not. It's not like overly aggressive. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm. What I'm here for. I'm just asking. Explain it. Um, I can see because I've heard a lot of people have had issues with uh, breakage on like predator figures, where the plastic was a little too brittle and it just snapped off. I could totally see just getting annoyed with that. Brittle for the cost. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I have been lucky thus far. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, other things that people do when they want luck. Um, I've not broken any of my NECA figures. I don't have a huge number, but uh, yeah, if, if you were to start finding that they were consistently breaking on you, yeah, I could totally see that. But considering a lot of the NECA figures uh, typically have really good sculpt, really good paint and relatively decent articulation at 20 to 25 maybe 30 bucks i think neca does an amazing job and i i like supporting neca as much as i can when they have characters that, that i kind of like granted i've never never played this game but it's just too cool this one was just too fun i had to get it it's one of those things where it's like I don't know. All right, so what do we got? NECA figures are fragile, Private Private says. Yes, I, I'm a lot more careful with my NECA figures than I am with like my Marvel Legends. I'm I'm not gonna be very like harsh with those. Um, what else is in this? Oh, that's about it. This will probably get thrown. Okay, so I was gonna open her. This one's boring. It's just Domino. But I haven't opened her. Uh, I don't know if I'll review her. I might. But mm, eh, I have her. So I open most all of my figures. We're still at 11. You guys are still waiting for that Batmobile. I'm sorry. But I have to open this guy. Girl. Um, oh, they didn't. Oh, I opened it the wrong side. Shoot. Well, let's just do it this way. 
do it this way. All right, what do we got? I can give you that. They look awesome. You know, NECA does a good job with the look. Christopher, L oh gosh, I'm going to say this wrong. Christopher Lesner, Lesner? I probably, it's late. I apologize if I said it wrong. But you have been a follower of mine for a long time. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so what do we got? Um, can't wait to get the upcoming Ultimate Gremlin by NECA. NECA. Private, private. I didn't get that. But what I did get is I... Loosener. Loosener. That is not what I would have thought. Anyway. Um... I didn't order the gremlins. Uh, those, oh gosh, I've got a lot of the gremlins. The the different, uh, uh, what are they called? Mogwais, in my in my Amazon queue, not queue wish list. It's a black hole if I go down that hole. If I go down that hole. How many times have I said that? Uh, yeah. Well done for getting that. But, anybody on the stream, did any of you guys score the NECA SDCC 2018 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 6, 7 inch uh, turtle pack? I did. I'm so excited for that. I am so excited. So excited. Alright, so here's Domino. Couldn't get it. Christopher. 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 You couldn't get the set. Dude, I'm sorry. That sucks. That sucks. I heard a lot of people weren't able to get it. Um, I wanted to get last year's set, which was... What was it last year? It was the... It was not the... It was it the cartoon set? I forget what it was. It was an eight pack with two foot soldiers, Krang and Shredder, and the four turtles. That's eight. Still bummed that I missed it, but, but, super excited that I got this set. I've got two of the one quarter scale. Uh, I've got uh, Raph and I've got Mikey. I still need to get Leo and. What's his name? <laughs> Donatello. Uh, but they have gone up in price. I know that NECA said that they are planning on re-releasing those one-quarter scale. I think they said, I want to say September or August, September, something like that. But they're releasing them at 120 bucks instead of the 100 bucks. <clears throat> so I don't know if I'll ever finish that set. Anyway. So, what do we got in the... Yeah, thinking about just picking them up now that I can't get this SDCC set. The one quarter scale, you mean, Christopher? Is it? Do you prefer Christopher? Let me know in the comments. Uh, Private Private got the TMNT set. Really excited. I am super excited. You prefer Christopher? Okay, perfect. Good to know. I would assume since that's how you have it listed. Okay, Domino. From the Sasquatch wave. I like that she has a neck hinge. Um, I don't... I mean, she looks good. That's, that's a good paint job for that face sculpt. You're probably not going to see that in focus. That's a good face sculpt. I like it when they actually paint the lips. They did a good job on this. But I have to say... I have really just not been that impressed with Marvel Legends lately. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nah, I meant to say yes to one quarter scale. Chris or Christopher don't matter. Okay. Well, now I'm confused because I don't know. You gave me two options still. But I appreciate you have You have been following my channel for a long time, and I really appreciate it. If you're not aware, 
for those of you that are still on, we've got eight. It's late at night, so I understand. People have been dropping off. You're tired. You're sleepy. Um, I'm annoying. Uh, I've got a giveaway that is going to be posted up next week. We've got seven now. Somebody just got annoyed by what I just said. Um, but I've got a giveaway that is going to be posted up likely next week early, hoping Monday. Robert, uh, you are not wrong about uh, Brock killing it with those customs. I wish I could hit those customs. That sounds wrong. I wish I could do custom action figures, but I just, I just can't do it. But dioramas, I've been doing okay. Here's an annoying thing. Really, Hasbro? You gotta have this gappage? 90s one. Head with... Uh, with headgear. Not my Domino. You know, I, I'm not a huge Domino fan, but uh, I earlier said I want a uh, movie Domino. So, uh, the Deadpool 2 Domino. So, here's what I'm gonna do, you guys. It has been an hour and 26 minutes. I am going to open that Batmobile. I got to go pee. I know. This is lame. I got to go pee. So, I'm going to go pee. You guys, um, I get you might drop off. I got to pee really bad. I'm going to open the Batman, Batmobile right after this, and then we'll be done. Um, stay here. Share the video so other people, if, if I get here and there's more than 10 people on, that'll be awesome. I'm going to open this no matter what. I gotta pee. Okay, I'm going to go pee. I'll be back in like, time me. It'll be amazing how quick this is. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. I'm back. Oh, we didn't lose anybody. That's cool. Okay. So I think I need to... 85 seconds. Nice, Steve. Uh, let's talk crap about him. Private, private, you can't talk crap about me. There's nothing bad to say about me. <sighs> There's a lot bad to say about me. Okay, so... I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna move the camera... I've got so much crap on on here. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Move the camera so that we can see this giant box. All right, there it is. You guys see it? This is. So if you're not familiar, I got this at Costco, of all places. Retail price is 250 some dollars and I got it for 60 59.90 uh, 59.95 or something like that to be exact. Let's adjust this up a little bit. This is the RC um uh, RC Justice League Batmobile. So let's just go ahead and pull this sleeve off. 
This is pretty cool. There's some cool uh, artwork. Not really artwork, but just pictures of the Batmobile. And I really kind of wanted to try this out. I know it's really late right now, but we're going to give this a try and see what this thing is all about. All right, so let's set this thing down. Bam. Anybody else get this? This thing is really cool. I think. All right. Can I just lift? All right. What am I missing? Am I missing something? Oh, there's stickies. There are stickers here. I gotta undo this. I should have planned this better. I didn't. We're gonna undo these stickers. I'm super excited. Now, last, someone told me that there is at least a little bit of battery charge. So we're going to try and drive this thing. Because we are supposed to be able to connect it to our cell phone, my cell phone, and drive it. This thing is huge. Chris says he would get it for 60 bucks. So would I. All right. Let's adjust this. Sorry for the shaking. Oh, look at that. You guys might enjoy this. My daughter has a unicorn from the Despicable Me movie. Maybe you don't care. I like it. All right, so let's turn this guy. Um... We gotta figure out how to get them off of this base thing. This thing is so cool. It's huge. Um, let's give you a size comparison. So here's Domino on here. It's huge. Okay, so let's how do we get this thing off of here? Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, we got figures and extras. Accessories are inside. So we're gonna open this. Cool. All right, so forgive me. I'm probably not going to watch the uh, comments as closely, but uh, talk amongst yourselves while I open this. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is cool. This is cool. So it comes with an action figure. I heard it's really crappy, but... Battery pack, we got the, the turret thing. Let's get all this stuff out. We are we are opening this thing up completely. We got the uh, smoke stuff, that's cool. We've got a gun, ba bam Another gun. Uh, nine volt charger. 9.9 .9 volt charger. You know what? While we're opening this, let's get this thing charged a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to read any instructions because I already know how this works because I'm a guy. I should know this stuff, right? Okay, we'll charge that. I heard that there's still that there's power in there, so I think we'll be fine. I just want to get a little more power going. We got another turret gun in here. Oh, we don't have to cut it open. Cool. And some sort of turret thing. I've said turret many, many times now. And then Instructions. And what is this? Oh, the wing things, the pins. Okay, so. He comes with. Are we getting some lag? What are we getting? Lag. Oh, it's better now. Alright. So, okay, so I think this is just a. It's like a Marvel. Or, uh, Marvel. Sorry, DC. 
Uh, this is a multiverse style Batman. It's actually a pretty good face sculpt of Batfleck. Um, my camera's not picking up very good, but it's pretty good. I would say sculpt-wise, it's pretty good. Paint-wise, meh. And articulation, <clears throat> pretty crappy. But what I do like, it's a cloth cape, which he has to have because he's supposed to be able to sit in this thing. All right, we got eight people here. Let's get this thing going before you guys have to go to bed. Um, I assume there's some sort of like things holding this on. Yep. Maybe we can turn this. Shoot, how do I get this? Okay, instructions. It shows. Turn it. Ow. Very tight. very tight you guys oh jeez oh now I got it you have to pull it out and then turn it so if I do that on too many of them when it's like this it's just gonna pop off okay I think I got them all nope there's one more there we go Okay, I got them all. I should be able to just lift this off. So, this little display thing, that's kind of nice. You know, it's pretty simple. It's not amazing, but it's nice. Oh, look at that thing. This thing is huge. Tech suit from Justice League movie. Yeah, I think um, Midwest Outlet or out, outlet, outlaw. Yeah, I think this, it's definitely the tech suit uh, cowl with the goggles. Whether or not it is the tech suit uh, rest of the suit, I don't know. Uh, I lost a few of you guys, It's that's okay. We're gonna drop into the rest of this thing and get this done because I just wanna try it out and see. Okay, so we gotta put the guns on. Uh, I gotta figure this out. We're gonna look at the instructions. Take the cones off the bottom. There's cones on the bottom? Oh yeah. Good call, Robert. Thank you. Probably would have figured it out, but better that you helped me. We got the fins pop on those are gonna go like i think let's okay we'll look at the instructions dang it all right that yep nice yeah. nice come on Oh, popped on nice. There we go. Okay, we got what do we got here? Got this big one in the front. Let's go right here. Good. And then we got the two small guns on the front right here. Perfect, and then this one, where's this guy go? Right on the top. Perfect. Okay, we got that. Good. Use only the charger, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so battery goes in on this side. Do I need tools? Shoot, I didn't even think about it. Access the battery storage slot from the left side of the vehicle. Unscrew. Shoot. I gotta go get a screwdriver. Thinking, where are they? 
Okay, so Robert says setting it up to your phone can be a pain. Um, that's what I heard. I've already installed the app. All right, stick with me. We're going to get this. There's only a couple of you left. While I'm gone getting a screwdriver, go get a whole bunch of people watching. Or don't. That's fine. Alright, we're back. We got a screwdriver set. Let's do this. Why is my hand all wet? Okay, so let's see. I assume it's Is it what kind of screwdriver is it? Phillips? I think it's a Phillips. Maybe this one's too big. Oh, we got flat back. Very good, very good, you guys. Ah, oh my gosh, why do they have it so dang tight? There we go. I think it's coming. Or I broke something. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. Yeah, 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 I know. How long is this damn screw? Sat down in a box. Okay, why won't you come in? All right, Robert, how long is this stupid screw? This is the left side, by the way, Steve. I have it, I have it the way that the picture shows. So I should, I believe, be correct. Unscrewing, unscrewing. What does the instructions say? Unscrew the battery cover with a Phillips head screwdriver, not included. Hold the super speed battery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why aren't you coming off? Is there a trick to this? Or just pull? Why won't you let go? Pull on the door. The door? The door is up here. Really? Oh my gosh. I'm not able to get it to work. <laughs> I can feel that it's like ready to pop. I just don't want to pull it too hard. What the heck? Yeah, I'm pulling on it. I'm pulling on it. Why won't you come off? Oh, I still have you on there. I don't need that. It's like you're... You just don't want me to have fun! Are you not unscrewed? I have unscrewed a lot! I think it needs to be unscrewed more. What the heck? This is dumb. 
Alright, time to return it. What the heck? I can tile my bathroom, but I can't open a stupid battery compartment door. Really? Okay, what the heck? See, this is why I don't like doing live episodes, because if this was just a regular video, I could cut all of this out, and you guys wouldn't know that it took me a half an hour to get the stupid door open, just to get the dang battery in. Nope, that, nope. Let's try this one. This is a complete internet fail. Well, this was a really fun toy. It could have been more fun if I could get the stupid door off to get the battery in. What the heck? Come on. Mine's defective. What on earth? There's only one screw. <laughs> Robert, what are we going to do about this? I am screwing more and more and more, and it is not helping anymore. I don't want to break it, but I really want to get this stupid door off. Come on. Instructions. Instructions are un, un, unhelpful. <laughs> Give it, giving me twenty dollars for it. Okay, you can buy it for twenty dollars plus shipping, plus a hundred dollars. <laughs> I am getting this stupid thing open. I don't care. I don't care if it's like three in the morning by the time I get it open. What the heck? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever. How long is this stupid screw? Maybe the screw is just this long. What? Alright, Robert, I know you have one of these. How long is the screw? Okay, most guys screw longer than they drink. Haha! <laughs> I mean, most guys think they can screw longer than they drink. Alright. I gotta stand up for this. What on earth? Did I get the defective one? Hold on. It's like, it's hooked into this thing, into the engine piece. Shouldn't that just... Disconnect. I'm gonna wind up breaking it. Yeah, I definitely have the right side. Okay, so here's the issue. The issue for all of you who are interested. This is the battery plate. This is the engine plate. The engine plate will not let go of the battery plate, even though the screw has been unscrewed. I just want to play with my toy. I have been unscrewing this. It should let go. Use some muscles. If it breaks, it breaks. But I gotta get this open. Where's my phone going? I'll look at it. Light. It's like there's a whole nother screw or something.
I'm seriously gonna have to call tech support? This is so stupid. Hit like if you think this is stupid. I'm gonna hit like. God, this is so freaking dumb. Just let it go. I don't wanna break the thing, but jeez. All right, Steve. We're gonna watch a freaking YouTube video on how to get this stupid thing open. YouTube. You guys are gonna experience me watching a YouTube video while doing a YouTube video to get this thing open. Okay. Um, Justice League RC Batmobile battery we'll just do that see if it uh, Optibotamus I watched some of his videos this might make my video a little worse quality I'll put his to a lower quality 480p all right yeah, yeah. Slide this out. All the yeah, yeah, I know how to get it out of the box. Gonna... Nope, don't care about Batman. We'll need nope, don't care. That attached to the Gatling get gun. to the battery, dang it. Come around to this section. Got some nice paint added on there. Come around here to the paint section so you can see that a little bit better. There's screwing it in and screwing it out. Got something right on there. It says caution. Absolutely terrific amount of detail. And Gonna the try. paint is really quite substantial as well. Now I want to open this, lift this up. You got the cockpit. On the inside here, Ooh, you also that might have be it. some nice color detail with the uh, instrument panel. You can come around here. This is a yeah, section that will like light up as well, in. but you can see some nice control panel detail and such, which all oh, it really does come together very nicely. Now as I said, it's everything working. that you no. need to control this is included. You do get this super speed 9.9 volt battery charge detail in there. And then oh, he already the took the. He like, already took it off. Well, everything that you need to control this is included. You do get this super speed 9.9 volt battery charger. As you can tell, you got a fairly long wire on here, which works perfectly. Now, one aspect that I do wish that they did a little bit differently was the way that they put the battery in. You do need a screwdriver. Uh, I wish it was a little bit easier, and you need a fairly long one to be able to reach in there and unscrew this. I wish there was a way that they could have done it where uh, it didn't require a screwdriver. Maybe just have it clip on there. One minor little thing that I wish they would have done, but again, you see really nice detail in there. And then the battery... Seriously, you guys. Tricky. Okay, who's we'll coming over to my house to fix well. this for me? Um, this is dumb. I don't want to obviously damage anything. So pull that out just like that. You have a little connector bit right he here. He doesn't go through Separate any tricks. That. And here is that the heck. All right, what's this guy have to say? I must have like a bum one or something. No, I don't, I don't care about your B-roll just showing cool stuff. Show me the battery. Wow. Four minutes and he still hasn't taken it out. There it is. Also, let's go out here and wow, this thing's got a No, it's not a wow. set of rockets right over here, so this goes up. Nope. Yeah, over here we have... No. Nope. So very cool. Nope. Oh, Jesus. I can actually drive this thing. Did he put the battery right, in already? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move the battery oh, yeah. cover here. There you go. Oh, he got it out easy. We're going to go ahead and plug our battery into this. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead All right, and I'm trying this again. Place. We're going to screw it in. And the next thing we're going to pour our smoke uh, solution into the smoke chamber. So you just go ahead and lift that cap right over there, and then we'll pour this into there. 
And then after that, we can go ahead and fire Batman. I wonder if my if the screw head actually got stripped. Maybe it's not turning. Inside here, you'll actually see there's actually a full center console, so it looks really cool, and it does light up. And so we'll go ahead and put our Bat figure in here. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and close this off. And our Batmobile is ready to go. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what this is all about. So we're all set and ready to go. We're going to go ahead and turn on our RC car here. There's an auto switch on the bottom. Nice. And then we're going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi of the RC car itself. And then we'll go ahead and open up the app. So uh, right off the back, you do see that it does have a camera in which it does see me. Hey! <laughs> uh, so uh, a few different things about the controller itself goes. Uh, the joysticks on the left uh -huh. will control the throttle, and the right will control the steering, just like that. And on the bottom here, it will show you a little bit more in terms of, like, for instance, this has headlights. And we can turn it off like that. You guys, this is the camera, so good. You'll see right there. And this here is to increase the height. I think my oh, screwdriver or my uh, Phillips head might have gotten. Now, in terms of the camera view goes, uh, if you go stripped. ahead and raise this here, you can I think go it's ahead stripped, and see guys. what's going on in front of you. Uh, so, so shoot. unless you create an animation just like that, you're going to have to work extra fucking hard to get this. So you have two different animations in there, which is really neat. And then if you look closer in the interior, you'll see that. I can that feel it getting closer. Is, um, lights that do light up, which is really unique. Uh, so definitely a very nice detailed interior that nonetheless. Let's bring it closer for you guys. There you go. All right, we're going to pause this. The, the, the video is not helping me at all. All right, you guys. We're almost there, I think. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with this lame, ex like, review of a really cool video, or video toy. God, this is just annoying. But this is how things really work for people that do action figure reviews. Things don't usually work, right? Like, why won't you just let go? I bet you it is stripped. Because it is still not letting go. <sighs> okay. Let's look at this. What other options do we have? Uh, I can see it in there. Eh, it looks like it's a little bit stripped. Let's see. Maybe a small flathead. Maybe I can just force the flathead in there. And, oh, ooh, I think this might get me there. I think we might, we might, we, ah. <sighs> Look at that. Now those are called troubleshooting skills. Look them up. So my screw is thoroughly stripped, which is a bummer, but I got it open. Let's find the battery. Okay, we got some comments, because I'm sure you guys have fallen asleep, and you're like, what is going on? There we go. Good luck, awesome job. Ba-bam! Okay, let's get the freaking battery in this stupid thing. Whoa. My table is folding in half. Battery. Okay. Here we go. Pull this out. I appreciate that you guys have stuck around for this. You did not have to. There is plenty of other things you guys could have done tonight. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. That is really cool. Okay, so this will push in. And you will go... Instructions. Okay. Should go like this. No? 
I don't like looking stupid. We'll just say that. No breakage. No breakage. We got no breakage. Oh, I think. I don't want to put this stupid cover back on. How am I going to get it off? I'm not going to tighten it very tight. I'll just say that. Okay. I'm glad I didn't pull any harder. All right. We'll just do a couple of turns. So it doesn't come off. There. That's good enough. Okay. What else does the instructions say? Five. Download the app. Already did that. Where's my phone? Let's open this app. Unlock the phone. I already have the app open. Okay. So. Uh, na, 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 na. Prepare Batmobile. Should we do the smoke in it? Switch it on the bottom of the core. Put it on. Fold the wire in top. Yeah, I got that. Switch it on the bottom. Yeah. I can't believe the instructions don't say where the on switch for the car is, but that's pretty typical to have a car power switch. There it is. Oh, it's alive! Can you guys hear that? That's cool. All right. Let's see what we got. Um, bum, 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 bum. We're going to connect this. Search and download. Yep, minimum requirements. Got it. Installed. Should we put the smoke in? Let's put some smoke in this sucker. You guys have been waiting. I think you guys deserve the smoke. You guys see the lights? It's got lights on this thing. All right, we're gonna put some smoke in this thing, just a little bit. Okay. So, here's the smoke. Just a bit. Okay, we got some smoke in there. see what this sucker can do. I've already established a seat of pure link. I have just purchased my Batmobile or I have performed a factory reset. Select. Copy your default password by tapping on the text below. Navigate to your Wi-Fi networks. Find your Batmobile in the list of available Wi-Fi hotspots and enter the default password below. Oh crap. Okay. Wi-Fi networks. Okay. Batmobile. Paste. Connect. Obtaining. Connected. This is cool. Generating encryption. Too difficult. Oh, come on, Brock. It ain't that difficult. Copy your secure password by tapping the text below. Okay. Step two of two. I think I've got it connected. How do I... Okay. Okay. Now I just need to get back into this app. I don't want help. I want to run the stupid thing.
Very rough. Okay. Instructions. Somewhere. Where the heck did it get installed? There it is. Ultra Batmobile. It should it should be installed and set up. First time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Navigate to your Wi-Fi networks. Find your Batmobile in the list of available hotspots and enter the Batmobile. Okay, Wi-Fi networks. I thought I was connected. Oh, it disconnected me, that's why. Paste. Connect. Connected. The Dark Knight Batmobile would be pretty sweet. Okay, it's got a... It keeps reconnecting to my own regular Wi-Fi. Initializing navigation link. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Camera point of view. Accept. Oh, this is freaking cool. Okay, you guys. This is awesome. So, let's point this thing at me. <clears throat> So this thing has a camera pointed at it. Where is the camera? There we go. The camera can see me talking to you guys. How cool is that? Yeah, it's an RC. Um, so you use your phone, Brock, to control the car. Oh, jeez. That's cool. I think there's a way that I can... How do I pop open the... Oh, cool. You can raise the, uh, the back. Hydraulics? Watch this. Watch this. See this? Oh, <laughs> What did I just raise or lower? Oh, okay. There we go. Do you see the gun go up and down? That's cool. I don't know what that just did. Oh, we can turn the headlights on and off. You see that? Watch this. Alright, you guys. This is too cool. I can turn the headlights on and off. I can, I can shoot some guns, I can shoot a rocket, um, I'm going to try this, but I think it might move it, oh, yep, okay, does this turn the wheels, yeah, I can turn the wheels and it turns the turrets and everything. Holy crap, that is so cool. Uh, I can turn the camera off. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, so there's configuration settings. I can do joystick, slider, dominant hand, it's my right hand, okay. Okay, how do I get this open? So I need to be able to get Batman into the thing. I thought that that was um, control. Alright, Robert, how do I get... Oh, that was smoke. I didn't see the smoke, that one. Let's turn it so we can see the smoke. Maybe I didn't put enough in there. There you go. Did you guys see the smoke? <laughs> that is so cool! Look at that, you guys! That is so freaking sweet! Oh my gosh! Okay, how do I open the... 
pull that up. You just, oh, you just pull the... Alright, I want to put my Batman in there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Alright, does this explain how I can get my Batman in there? Robert. Robert. Tell me how to open the uh, cockpit. You're gonna be like, what is he doing? This should tell me. It's got a moving steering wheel even. Alright, tell me, dude. No, at the point. Alright. I feel like there's a, uh... It's gonna be a trick. There it is. Got it. Got it. Yep, I got it. Okay, Batman. Let's throw him in there. Look at this. Okay. You guys gotta see this. I mean, Robert knows about it, but this is lit up. How cool is that? It's freaking lit up. Okay. So, let's put Batman in here. Uh -huh. Give him that. And then there is a, uh, there's supposedly a camera angle view. Okay, there is a camera angle view of Batman in the cockpit that I should be able to see. Um, somewhere. I'm not sure where though. Okay, let's see. Batman point of view, quick tips. When your vehicle's blah blah blah, radio input now, point your smart device up, not down toward your vehicle. If your vehicle gets too far away, it won't work. Don't store your vehicle near heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera is over his left shoulder. How do I get it to show me his left shoulder? Because all I'm seeing right now is my hand. Oh, okay. So I just can't see him, that's all. Okay, cool. Okay, let's set the camera up. Let's move this guy around. Let's get him driving. And then and then we'll just cut this thing off because it's been over two hours. And I really appreciate that you guys have been sticking around for this. So, let's do this. Let's throw this on the floor. Oh, shut. And let's get the camera set up. God, this it's like it's like Christmas, you guys. Okay. Let's set this up. I've got something that should hold, I hope. Hopefully the camera will stay there. Holy crap, that thing is fast! Ah, oh, that's so fast! Alright, you guys. This thing is not, not an indoor toy. <laughs> the 
That is so cool. Stop hitting the window. And we're smoking. Dude, guys. All right, let's put this thing down here. I'm sorry for the uh, overly motion crazy camera. We got some smoke. This is too cool. I hit the camera. I hit the camera. Alrighty, guys. I think, uh, what time is it? We gotta see. I can't even see. It's pretty late. So, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I think you guys have, uh, had more than enough fun tonight. I've had a little, a little bit of fun. We'll just say that. All right, thank you guys for all of you that stuck around. I got, I, I just had a ton of fun. This is just too much fun. So you guys have a great time. Get some sleep. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm reading some of the comments here. Oh, it drifts awesome on slick floors. I gotta try that. Okay, you guys, have a great night. I had a blast. I don't usually like doing the live streams, but this was super awesome. I had a great time. So um, stay tuned. I am doing the giveaway, hopefully Monday, maybe Tuesday, if I'm really not uh, you know, up to it. But until then, I will see you guys later.